the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Pito B, and former governor of Anambra State, has returned to Nigeria today after a three-day trip to Egypt. Obi traveled to Egypt a few days ago and he sent out a tweet saying that he is going to Egypt to understudy, understudy their power system, the educational system, and financial system, of course. Because Obi, no matter how you look at it, is a man that is deep rooted in anything finance. He reads our statistics about these things, development, and the rest of it. And today, he came back to Nigeria. And something happened when he arrived at the airport at Abuja. And you will be shocked at what is happening with Peter Obi and the Labour Party. Before we give you all that juicy details, we will ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. Also, click on the notification bell and give us a like. When we release the next videos, you will be the first to receive them. Kindly share this also to those that might find it interesting. So what is it that happened at the airport at Abuja? I saw the video and you are going to watch the video now. When Obi arrived at the airport, he was like the whole youth and the whole airport turned into a reception party for P2B. You cannot imagine the number of people that were found there. It was hard for him to move. The whole place was jam-packed. Everybody wanted to take a picture with him. Youths, the elderly, children even. It was like a pre I can I, I can't even remember a Nigerian president that have this received this natural love from the people without inducement. The people just came out from nowhere. They filled up the airport and there was no space for P2B to move. They were chanting, trying to greet him, take photos with him, pronounce his name. Oh my goodness. And they have no ethnic color. You can't say this one is Yoruba. You can't say they are Igbos. It's just a mixture of Nigerians from nowhere. It was amazing. You would be shocked and surprised. How? When was the last time a Nigerian politician received this kind of uh, natural love from people? So P2B must be doing something right. The Labour Party must be doing something right. They just have to sustain the momentum, keep it going until the election day. And if they continue in this way, they will overrun everybody. I am telling you, they will overrun every political party and every uh, uh, local government in Nigeria because it's just too much. I don't know why this is where this is coming from. How suddenly Nigerians become so political that they have put their faith in this one man. Many Nigerians, I will say, anyway, because there are some who still support other candidates, and that is correct. And what is this uh, three-day trip to Egypt? It's like a president made a foreign trip and they just came back. What is this three-day trip to Egypt? So the three-day trip to Egypt, you see the opposition in an effort to demarket Obi to bring down the Labour Party, the reverse has actually become the case because every attempt they made to attack Obi has resulted in Obi's movement gaining more momentum and Obi himself getting more popular. There were attacks on him from the likes of uh, Omoyore Showere of the AAC party saying there's presidential election in a Kiti state and the people will be instead of staying to campaign for the gubernatorial candidate traveled to Egypt. Obi just let out a, a tweet that he was going to Egypt to do three important things to understudy the power system in Egypt, the education system, and I believe the financing financial system. And his reason was that Egypt was producing something like 15,000 megawatts of electricity as of 2015. Today, in less than 10 years, 
they have doubled that quantity. Nigeria has been producing 4,000 megawatts of electricity as far back as 2010. And today, Nigeria is still at 4,000 megawatts of electricity, which is not even enough for your only Lagos state. And Egypt have doubled their own within a short period. So he said, let me go and see what they did, how they did it, which is usual, which is normal. If you don't know something, you'll learn. And the opposition people like Omoire Showere jumped on it. Why did he go to Egypt? He's not prepared. The election is nine months away from now. So what? You can learn even a day to the election. And with his tweet, Obi's supporters rose. And his trip to Egypt became a national phenomenon. All one or two people who attacked him, they got what they, uh, uh, they didn't expect in reply. And suddenly, Obi continued to grow. And today, he's back in Egypt. Some even said he was there for business. not. Uh, but we suddenly, then he released a video where he was in control rooms of power generating companies in Egypt, where he was being conducted around, shown around what happens. And a, 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 a picture speaks more than a thousand words. And they didn't have anything anymore to say. They couldn't reply him anymore. So the man was really there doing what he said he was going to do. And today he came back. And he came back like a celebrity. He's like a celebrity presidential candidate now. B2B can no more hide. Anywhere he is, people are flocking around him, surrounding him, following him, hailing him. And the movement is growing like wildfire. I think B2B, what is happening now, is even bigger than himself. He can no more control it. He is just a vessel and the people want to use him to better their life and change their system. So welcome back, Mr. Pitobi. We are waiting to hear what he will say, how he went and what he learned. And once that comes, we will bring you the update immediately. To get that update, we ask you to kindly consider subscribing to our channel. Click on the notification bell so that you will get the updates once they come around. And please kindly share this with your contacts. Let it go viral. We see you in our next video. We appreciate you for coming and being blessed.